First is the 3D camera. It is first going to be on top of uh, the machine, the device, but it was shrunk significantly compared to other 3D cameras you know, and it was brought down by cost and by power because this one is powered by the USB device. And you know that in the future, it will take a year or two, and like the old cameras we used to have on top of our computers and was integrated into the platform, this will be integrated too. And this is also a near-term gesture, and it has the ability to recognize not just the hand gesture, but also the hand and finger movement. So we'll see my capability of being able to hit. That shows that I was, my first profession was not that bad. Okay. <laughs> We talked it's all about creation, so let's create something. This is the world. I could rotate the world. I have a lot of power with computing. <laughs> and I have the power I wish I won't have to do that. So it's all done. <laughs> this is just the very beginning of bringing in new capabilities. So for whomever thinks the touch is the end of the innovation, this is just the beginning. And you'll imagine what kind of capability is going to be there. Because we're playing in our lab with an ability to catch up all kind of objects. And I thought about what will happen if I'll have all these virtual objects and I have a discussion with Skype or whatever other video conferencing capability with my granddaughter and I'll be able to play with her across the ocean. This is a great capability. You bet the innovation is huge. Just open up to all kind of capabilities. And I'm going to talk about how we enable the market with this kind of capability.